Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Deck. So Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, and we have a super spicy list to check out this week. So you might think that Standard is kind of set. We see a lot of Teamer Marvel, we see a lot of Zombies, Mardu Vehicles, Blue Red Control, there's a bunch of big decks, but there's still some super spicy, interesting stuff going on just below the surface, like today's deck, which is Splendid Teamer, and comes to us from Lunik, who took it to a 5-0 finish in a competitive Standard League on Magic Online, so congrats to Lunik on their finish with the deck. A quick reminder before we break down Splendid Teamer for Standard. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Splendid Teamer is a little bit hard to explain. The basic idea of the deck is to fill our graveyard really quickly at warp speed so we have contingency plan which might be the worst card to see play in standard this card is so bad but if you're really desperate and just really care about getting things in your graveyard it kind of gets it done so look at the top five cards of your library you can mill any number of those put the rest on top so in some ways it's kind of like a really bad tutor you only get to look at five cards but you get to draw whatever one of those five you want the next turn plus it stocks your graveyard then we have pieces of the puzzle and cathartic reunion which let us stock our graveyard while also letting us kind of dig through our deck to find what we need pieces of the puzzle unlike contingency plan which is bad because it's a loss of card advantage you're actually down a card once you cast it generates card advantage we get we start with casting one card pieces of the puzzle end up with two instants or sorceries in hand cathartic reunion is card neutral but it digs three cards deep gets cards in our graveyard so all of these cards do a really good job of just getting stuff in our graveyard while also cycling us through our deck to find kind of our payoff cards so as far as getting stuff in the graveyard what we're looking to kind of mill is world breaker and kozlex return obviously some sweet synergy here we mill the world breaker we mill the kozlex return we can get back the world breaker cast it wrath away our opponent's board with the uncounterable kozlex return by exiling it from our graveyard world breaker kind of works like one of our finishers as well it kills a heart of cure and it's really big it blocks flyers it's just a very strong magic card so these are some of the things we're looking to mill but more importantly we just want to mill our lands that's the main plan of this deck is to mill as many lands as possible as quickly as possible while digging through our deck with the pieces of the puzzle with the cathartic reunion so ether hub and gyre sanitarium super important because they give us colorless mana for our world breakers and then lumbering falls can turn into a creature which is a nice upside sheltered thicket we can cycle it to get it through the graveyard even if we don't have our our self mill cards and then a bunch of fast lands a cinder glade is a duel some basic lands so why are we so concerned about getting lands in our graveyard well the real plan of this deck is to resolve a huge splendid reclamation so splendid reclamation is a card i was super excited about when it was spoiled it hasn't really caught on in standard but it's very powerful you get to reanimate every single land in your graveyard for only four mana so if we can cast continue plan on turn two mill a few lands two three lands then we cast pieces of the puzzle on turn three mill two three more lands by turn four splendid reclamation could be plus five plus six lands that's a huge jump in mana from four mana to like ten mana with just one card it's super strong and that's not even thinking about if the game goes longer maybe we don't cast splendid reclamation until turn five turn six we've cast some cathartic reunions in there multiple contingency plans it could be reanimated like 10 or 15 lands even it can just get back so many lands so that's kind of the idea we're milling world breakers and kozlik's return for value but we're also milling all these lands for value because if we can get our lands back and we can find our splendid reclamation with the help of our pieces of the puzzle and cathartic reunion and with all the mana we get from it we can cast our part the water veil which like our splendid reclamation can be found with all of the cards that cycle through our deck but we cast a part the water veil awaken the part the water veil we can attack 
attack our opponent, we can cast another one, and then Crush of Tentacles, we can surge in to bounce whatever our opponent has, but remember, it's non-land permanent, so it doesn't bounce the Awoken land, so it basically gets any blockers out of the way, so we just chain our part the Water Veils together using the ton of mana we got from casting our Splendor Acclamation with all the lands we milled from Contingency Plan and Piece of the Puzzle to close out the game. So that's kind of the plan of the deck. The rest of the deck, Nissa's Renewal, kind of backup ramp. When we some reason don't find our Splendor Reclamation, we can get up to the 10 mana we need to awaken and attack with a part of the Water Veil land with Nissa's Renewal, jumping us from 6 to 10. Lightning Axe and Descender's Deliverance, a little bit of removal. Descender's Deliverance for Heart of Kieran's Lightning Axe kills about anything. Another way we can discard a card, and for our deck, discarding a land is sometimes free because we can get it back. It's almost a benefit in some cases because we get it back with our Splendid Reclamation. We already talked about the mana, so onto the sideboard. Rise from the Tide gives us another finisher that gets around Lost Legacy and stuff like that that would be really devastating if if it hit our Splendor Reclamations, our World Breakers, our Part of the Water Veils. So we can just bring this in, make a ton of zombies, beat our opponent down with the zombies. Our opponent's likely going to take out all their sweepers because the sweepers do nothing against our main deck. So it's a good way to steal a win with our graveyard. And then Thing of the Ice, Sweltering Suns, Magma Spray for aggro, giving us ways to kind of sweep away or bounce our opponent's board. Magma Spray to deal with Scrap Heap Scroungers and the like. And then we have some counters. Dispel is mostly to force through our combo, so to make sure our Splendor Reclamation resolves against opposing counter spells, while Negate can kind of do the same thing, but is also helpful against Aetherworks Marvel, which is a major concern, and that's where Ceremonious Rejection really shines. One mana, counter an Aetherworks Marvel, and that is Splendid Teamer for Amonkhet Standard, and that's our instant deck deck for today, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.